Yorkshire, January 1900. Women may not vote nor compete in the Olympics. Married women have no separate legal existence and few rights to custody of their children. Unequal pay and job segregation are taken for granted in the professions, in factories, on the land and in domestic service. But strong Yorkshire women of all classes are breaking the mold, challenging the stifling stereotypes, changing women's lives forever. Isabella Ford, Yorkshire trade unionist, socialist, pacifist, feminist, campaigns passionately for the rights of women at work, especially in textiles and for the vote. Leonora Cohen goes to Holloway. She breaks a case housing the crown jewels, leaving a message. This is my protest at the government's treachery to the working women of Great Britain. Others are forcibly fed, like Lillian Lenton of Harrogate, teacher Mary Gawthorpe and typist Elsie Stevenson. Solicitor's clerk Gladys Roberts keeps a prison diary. My tie is such a comfort and inspiration. It is delightful to have the dear old colours to look at when the walls seem to close in. The Women's Social and Political Union honours Leonora Cohen. They're inspired by her passion for freedom and right. May we all, they write, be as ready as you to answer the appeal of the oppressed. Leonora becomes a magistrate, president of the Yorkshire Federation of Trades Councils and the first woman on Leeds Prison Visiting Committee. A lifelong vegetarian, she dies aged 105. Hilda Thorpe wins the England Swimming Championship three times. Committee woman Mrs. Curra Briggs inaugurates a children's holiday camp. Dorothy Dufton wins a Cambridge scholarship to research pneumonia produced by poisonous gases. Violet Glover is the first woman doctor to graduate from Leeds University. The First World War. Kathleen Bottomley of Bradford joins up and wins four campaign medals. Other Yorkshire women take up work previously denied to them and give invaluable and heroic service as surgeons, ambulance drivers and at field hospitals near the front. Leeds teacher Gladys New volunteers for the Red Cross. Later, Gladys works in farms and on the land, as do many pacifist women who campaigned for the vote. Ethel Snowden and Isabella Ford, who found the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom.